Hello, this is Cecil Sung here. We're going to go ahead and go over some 111 defense in PVT. I have three replays of defenses against the 111, and all of them include an extremely fast expansion from the Protoss. So, knowing that, I'd say a great defense to the 111 is to have a very fast expo. I have two replays of TSL Killer doing this. Both of them, he gets a really fast expo. He actually loses his expo in both of them. Although, we'll go ahead and check it out and see exactly how he ends up defeating his opponent, Dystar. And then I have a replay of me on ladder from yesterday where I defended a 1 1 1 from someone really, really convincingly. And we'll probably look at that as well. So, starting with this replay, we have Dystar against. Killer, TSL Killer. And I believe this was for IEM. And we have a 15 or maybe 16 Nexus from Killer. And over here we have Dysar just going for his 111. Second gas. Killer immediately Chrono boosting out a lot of probes. 27 probes to 21 SCVs, the disparity is going to get even higher. Chrono boosting out two stalkers for some reason, he may have needed these for some sort of Hellion defense, I'm not sure. And he actually pokes up the ramp and takes a look at what he sees. And he ended up seeing... Factory and reactor. That's pretty good indication that a 111 is coming. Because uh, the first barracks usually has a reactor on it for the marine count to be high with a fast factory. Lucky for Killer, he went for a super, super fast expansion. Nexus before Gateway. And seeing the reactor and the factory, he chrono boosts out observers from his gate, uh, his robotics facility, and gets four gateways and it's going to be going for blink as well. So Killer's approach is to take a fast expo so that the expo can pay off well off itself before this push comes and he wants to have blink and then use the mobility of blink to pick anything off that strays away and more importantly oops did not mean to rewind more importantly he's going to use blink to get part of his army in between the attack path the push path of Die Star, and that will cut off reinforcements. And he actually sacks his expo. As you can see here, he saves all his probes, so really this is just lost mining time and down 400 minerals, which is good because he has 12 extra workers right now. And now he leaves enough stalkers at his base to just prevent Dystar from pushing up the ramp. And he got two more gates so that he can spend all his money, if need be. And the rest of his army is coming over to the natural, and there's really nothing to defend. And I think he's accidentally pulling back here. He's being a little bit indecisive right now. And this is actually very cool. Oh, I see. He came over here to pick things off as the push comes back across the map. And it, he could have actually picked this tank off. And then probably consequently picked off some more stuff on the front. Perhaps this Banshee and a CVs. If he were to blink here. Because <laughs> he's actually got his army on either side of the 111 push. Although he actually doesn't choose to do that. He moves these back to the base. Probably because of this Banshee, I would assume. And continue with the replay. So now Killer is going to go through a mini rampage through the base. And this is very cool because even though he's not really dealing a whole lot of damage and he's losing a couple units, this is allowing his expo to come back up completely safe. And he's going to be able to use his Blink Stalkers as a pin against Dice Star. And Dyster is not going to move out of his base for a really long time because he knows the Blink Stalkers are just going to come back up the moment he leaves his ramp. 
So just doing this spies Killer a whole lot of time to get his expo back up and going. And he still has a worker lead. So I don't really think he's behind at all right now. I'd say it's about leaving game. And he's just gonna come up here. I think what Killer's trying to do right now is just pick off whatever he can and keep the army as low as possible. And force Dice start to spread his tanks out as much as he can. Because the more that these tanks are spread out, the more vulnerable Dice Star's army will be. And consequently, it'll be easier for Killer to pick things off. Keep the Marine can take count as low as possible and delay the inevitable push even longer. Back at home, Killer is going for a charge lot, and storm, and he's. Or not storm. He actually gets an archon charge lot with the Templar archives. Just preparing for this next push, which was delayed by the blink stalkers by a very significant amount. So here you can see the charge lots charging in on the bio, the tanks firing on the charge lots, splashing on the bio, and that push was just decimated. The game is over. I think if Killer has his blink stalkers with these charge lots, he probably could just take the game, but he's gonna play it really safe because he's already down a game in the series. Comes back to his base, and you'll see he ends up winning later. So, to recap, what Killer did was he took a very fast expansion and then realized that a 1 1 1 is likely to be coming and prepared for it with a lot of Blink Stalkers. His goal wasn't to directly attack the push, it was actually just to pick off whatever he can and sack the expo. And then as the push goes back across the map, back towards Dice Star's base, he can pick everything off again, and then blink up into the base and prevent Dice Star from leaving again for a very long time. And if Dice Star were to try to push strip straight up the ramp, I'm sure that Killer could have held with the Blink Stalkers with just the superior concave and blink micro. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next replay, which is pretty similar, but even more of a convincing win from Killer. And here it is right here. Okay, so now we have TSL Killer, the bottom left, Dice Star at the top left. Dice Star is gonna go for a 1-1-1 one, one, one again. Killer is going to defend in a similar fashion. He goes for another 15 Nexus. Followed with an immediate gateway. Simulator. And he's basically just going to be continuing on his normal tech route as if he didn't expand. And he's preventing a bunker rush. Just with some simple probe micro. Nothing even very fancy. Counterattacks with the Zealot to deal some damage and then retreats. And in preparation for the 111, which he should have seen with that Zealot. Yes, he definitely saw that with the Zealot. Reactor, Fast Barracks. Um, or not Fast Barracks. Reactor, Fast Factory. Probably going to be 111 again. Preparing in the same way, taking three Vespeam. Kaiser's going for blink again. He's basically just doing the exact same build, except on a different map. Four gateways, a robo, and a twilight council. Ah, uh, it actually looks like he cut a couple more probes this time. So he probably realized, and when I watched the first replay on Shakur's Plateau, I actually thought, uh, I think Killer might die. He over probed. This time he cut about six probes, which is just going to make, hmm, looks like these zealots are basically going to be in the defense now. And he ends up once again sacking the expo, using the stalkers to pick anything off that comes out of range of the siege tanks. And you can see the stalkers are just right on the edge of the siege line, shooting at anything that comes near. And now he ends up... Sacking his expo and waits for Dice Star to try to come in through the natural. Just picks everything off that he can. Once the siege tank siege, he comes out of range. 
just a moment. There we go. Comes out of range of those siege tanks. And you can see how low the marine count is now. And he leaves just enough stalkers to hold off and defend from this push right here. And the rest of his blink stalkers are coming in between the uh, the push and the production facilities, which is the rally path. And that'll just cut off all reinforcements of this push. This push is eventually going to die. He has many more probes than Die Star does SCVs. And the game's going to be his once these blink stalkers arrive over here. You can see they pick off a tank, pick off marines, pick off marines. Gonna be picking off even more stuff. Over here, he's just keeping the blink stalkers out of range of the siege tanks. And then goes in for the kill with probes. And ends up with double probes, more stalkers, just basically everything, more of everything against Ice Star. So he's using the mobility of the stalkers, the blink stalkers, to slow the push as much as he can, pick off anything that comes out of range of the siege tanks, slowly whittle down the marine SCV count, pick off a tank if possible, and then cuts the rally path in half of the push and ends up just whittling down the push and doing a kill move with the probes, the probes taking tanking a lot of the blunt from the 111 push, leaving the stalkers safe behind to rain down their fire. So that was Killer's approach. And I'm gonna show go ahead and show you what I did to defend some 111 that happened to me the other day. To find the replay real fast. Here it is. Both of those were 16 nexuses from Killer. I went ahead and did like a 20, 20 food nexus a bit later. Still the same idea, very fast expo, get the expo to pay for itself, and then defend the push. I was actually not fortunate enough to realize what was happening. All I saw was one gas and a barracks. And since 111 is pretty dang popular, I just went ahead and guessed that my opponent was going to be going for a 111 build, which he is. I'll go ahead and show you my opening a little bit more in detail. Gateway, core, mine 100 Vespian gas. I think I pulled these after about 100 Vespian gas. Yep. And then laid down my Nexus at looks like 22 food. Then ordered a Stalker, chronoed it. And killed the SCV. SCV didn't even see my expo. Now I put guys ga back on gas. Go for uh, put my guys back on gas. Go for three gateways, a robo. Get my second gas. Once this finishes, I'm just gonna chrono a bunch of probes and finish up work gate research. This stalker is mostly just trying to find out if there's an expansion here or not. All I ended up seeing was a bunker. which you'll see in a moment. There's a Hellion coming into my base. This next stalker is, this is actually, if you're gonna do this opening, pretty important. This next stalker needs to be constructed before workday finishes in case of a Hellion or a Reaper. Otherwise your probes are going to be sitting ducks. And the stalker ends up seeing that there. Let me check what he's, yeah, I didn't really see much. Other than the bunker. I felt that this was suspicious. I thought that marine count was a bit high for such a fast expansion. For a one racks fast expand. And I didn't actually catch a glimpse of that tank. I could have if I poked him a little farther. But I just chronoed an observer to be sure of what's going on. And since, I was since right now 1101 is really popular. I saw kind of a lot of marines a little bit early. I went ahead for a very fast robotics facility. And I'm going to go and grab all four of my Vespian geysers to get out a couple Colossus plus Lance by the time the push comes. And that'll just rip the push to pieces. And my suspicions will be confirmed with an observer. I believe I 
create a, a, another observer as my robo base, constructing so that I have one across the map, one at my base for Banshee. Once I see these tanks, I know. I cut probes. Don't need to produce any more probes. I have 40. This is actually about where Killer was stopping when he was playing as well. Although he did not have robotic facility tech when he was playing, he went for the Link Avenue. I went for the more direct confrontation avenue. And I wanted to try to use what ground forces I had to try and delay the push by whatever I could. I was thinking I might get him to siege, on siege a couple times by just putting these out here. It was worth a shot, I didn't know if it would work or not. He comes with his push and I basically just run away. It wasn't really worth it at all, I damaged a couple marines and got a lot of my stuff damaged. Ended up losing a zealot. Anyways, back at my base, second Colossus finishes. Just as the push gets here, uh, Lance fin finished moments ago. Two Colossus with Lance and three gateways. More Colossus coming. Just ripping his marines apart. Now the siege tanks are going to get ripped apart. All my stalkers took out those banshees. And that push was really, really easily stopped by the two Colossus. And I was able to do that because I had a very fast robotics facility. The fast robo facility was actually uh, blind, but based on the info I got of, he did have a refinery. It's cross positions on Taldarim. 111 is really popular. I saw kind of a high marine count. It was pretty dang probable that a 111 was coming. And so I went for the really fast robo so that I could just rip this thing to pieces and not worry about having to use blink micro defense and that is what I wanted to show you 111 defense the idea is to get up a very fast expo in order for it to pay off for itself as you saw in killers replays it actually paid off for itself to get a good blink stalker count and then he just sacked it and then he did a counterattack if the counterattack couldn't kill the opponent then it would definitely slow the next push down in time for you to have another expansion and a force that'll just crush the 111. In my replay, I intuited that a 111 was coming and decided to get Colossus with Lance, which tore it apart. So there you have it 111 defense, very fast expo. Very fast expo seems to be a soft counter build, or maybe a hard counter. I consider it a, a soft counter for now because the game still hasn't really settled into a state where I could call it a hard counter. If you liked my content, be sure to subscribe because that's an absolutely great way to directly support me and help me get out additional content. If you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. I love to hear from anybody that likes my videos. I even like to hear from people that don't like my videos. I like to hear from you all in all. And be sure to check out any of my additional videos that will be coming out within a day or so.